G'day guys, a comic book noob here, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video this week. Uh, if you watched my last weekly comic book haul video, you would have seen that I picked up yellow, blue, grey and white omnibus. Um, now this features the stories of you know, those titles, Daredevil, Daredevil Yellow, Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Grey and Captain America White. So I thought I'd do a little overview of the book, um, just show you the interior art. I literally know nothing about the yellow, grey or white story. I only bought this for Spider-Man Blue, but um, I thought I'd do a video explaining why I bought it uh, and just show you beautiful artwork inside this book, guys. So um, stay tuned and let's go through it. Alright guys, a kind book noob here, and like I said, I um, thought I'd just do an overview today of one of the omnibuses I've recently purchased, Yellow, Blue, Grey and White Omnibus. I believe that is the official title of the book, by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. Now you get, uh, you get four different stories in this, you get Daredevil Yellow, Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Grey and Captain America White. Um, and I've been wanting Spider-Man Blue for a long time. Um, that's the only story in here that I know really anything about. I have heard that Daredevil Yellow is quite good as well. Hulk Grey and Captain America White, I know nothing about, apart from it's Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. So, also guys, remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. As appreciate it. So I thought I'd do just a little bit of an overview, uh, show you the, in, uh, the uh, interior artwork of Daredevil Yellow, Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Grey, and Captain America White. Um, I'll probably repeat myself a lot during the video, but just remember guys, I mean, this video is more just to show you the art inside the book. I, I don't know, as I've already mentioned, a lot about the stories in this book, apart from that one. So um, this book cost me $165. Spider-Man Blue, I can usually only find the trades on eBay for around $100, and that's probably not including postage, um, and it's usually from America, so that's probably going to be another $30 postage on that, so to try and get a paperback trade of Spider-Man Blue for me, is look, you're looking around $130, around that mark, so I bought this for $165, omnibus hardcover format, and... I think I got a pretty good deal. Uh, I, I believe the trades are all out of print. I believe this book is also out of print. So if you come across this book, guys, um, maybe this video will uh, influence your decision on whether you want to pick this up or not. Uh, this is just outside of the dust jacket. And yeah, so like I said, I'll show you an overview of the interior artwork, so here we go. Alright, so this is the omnibus with the dust jacket off. Um, you've got the individual yellow, blue, grey and white panels on the front, looks cool. Nice little bit of daredevil out there. First part, Daredevil Yellow. As an introduction part in here, I am skipping a few pages just to give you sort of an overall view of the art and book. Um, so it's pretty cool, like this, this starting with the black and white and the, the red Daredevil. And then you see some more, it's a uh, very Tim Sale like artwork. There. That is very, um, yes, that, that reminds me a lot of the long haul winning, like the Tim Sale artwork on that, so. That's one of the cool things about this book, you got the same creative team, Jeff Loeb, Tim Sale, that did um, Batman The Long Halloween and Dark Victory, which I haven't read yet, but you see you've got the Daredevil in there, the yellow costume. I'm not sure what this story is about. Um, 
but I'm sure this would be awesome. I've heard good things about it. And I've heard this is um, yeah, quite, quite good. So let me just try and skip ahead here. This is the end of Daredevil Yellow, some sketches, some bonus material. And Spider-Man Blue, this is the reason I picked this book, book up for introduction type there. Now this is, this is about, um, so I think it's uh, mainly based on uh, Peter Parker doing a, like a, like a love tape sort of thing. I think it's like on uh, Gwen Stacy's birthday sort of thing. And he's just like, you know, just uh, recapping like the death of Gwen Stacy. Uh, looks, this looks really cool. Um, I'm not sure what I really expected in this book, but it, I mean, I, I love the Green Goblin. Love the Green Goblin, but that is, this is, man, this just looks absolutely fantastic. Um, and this, this doesn't look like um, like the Tim Sale sort of artwork we just saw in Daredevil Yellow. Like, um, it, looks, it looks very, um, like, early 90s sort of Spider-Man, late 80s Spider-Man sort of thing. It looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, we're into book two or chapter two. Sorry for my hand sort of being in the way there. I was in a nice Mary Jane shot there. Uh, yeah, my it's, it's, I, I don't have a lot of options where I can sort of shoot this overview video. So yeah, my hand is yeah just always in the way. But yeah, um, looks really cool. So it looks like yeah you got like Rhino, Green Goblin, the Lizard, uh, Sandman. So it looks like you get like a lot of, um, yeah, different Spider-Man villains in this. Um, so that was, that was that was the main reason I bought this book for, was for Spider-Man Blue. Uh, now, uh, I've got no idea what Hulk Grey is about. Um, we sort of see like the, the theme, sort of like the, the black and white sort of theme. Even though Spider-Man was just sort of like a dark blue theme so sort of like a one color -y sort of theme got like a green hulk hand here it's sort of it's a little, like it's really cool it gives you a really oh, just a cool feel to start the book and then you know we, here we come to the, the color part of the book so this looks like it's sort of um like going over how bruce banner became Hulk, or the Hulk. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I got no idea what this, I got no idea what Daredevil Yellow is about. I just, I just heard that it's good. And I got no idea what Hulk Grey is about. Um, is he a Grey Hulk? Mm, he looks green there, but he sort of looked grey on the other page. So yeah, he looks grey again with green eyes. So yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know, is it, is, is Hulk grey in this book? Like here, he looks green again. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the color has anything to do with with it. And we've got Hulk, Hulk with a bunny here. But yeah, it looks looks really cool. I um I don't know a lot about Hulk. Um, got like a cool old Iron Man here and the the oh, like maybe it must be Iron Man, whatever Mark suit that was, if it was even called a mark back then, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. I mean, yeah, I'm just getting into the Hulk universe. So I got no idea, uh, like a lot of sort of like the, um, 
like the background of the Hulk and the villains and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got no idea, sort of love interests or anything like that. I, I've got very little idea about Hulk. Um, so I'm really keen to read Hulk Grey. I'm really keen to read all of this. It just looks fantastic. Um, I mean, if I've only read The Long Halloween by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. And if that's anything to go by, that creative team of, of those pair of guys, um, like, yeah, it, 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 this is just gonna, it's gonna be the same. I just, I get that feel that it's just going to be four awesome stories about four awesome Marvel characters. So once again, we've got starting off with the, the black and white, and then we go to color. I don't know a lot about Captain America either. Once again, I do not know anything about this story. But yeah, this is generally just uh, like a uh, little, little overview to show you the, the artwork in, uh, in this book. Um, and it just like, it looks fantastic. Absolutely looks fantastic. Um, this, this, I mean, I'm not, I'm not reading the stories I'm flicking, but yeah, it's, we've got... Um, Oh man, I just forgot his name. Uh, the Shield dude, Fury. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, this looks really cool. So, very, very keen. Hope I'm not giving any spoilers away either. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm just sort of looking at pictures and I don't really know what's going on, so I'm not reading along, but yeah. Um, this, this book cost hundred and sixty five dollars and it looks like it was worth every penny so yeah I'll, I think I'll stop that there I was hoping to sort of get like a some more Captain America villains in there like the Red Skull or something in there I don't even know if he's, if he's in this book but I'll stop there just in case I sort of ruin anything for anybody that that's it so that's the overview on the yellow, blue, grey and white Omnibus. So let me know what you think guys. Also remember to hit that like button and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. So that's it guys. That I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video this week because well, all the books that I started reading this morning have been really good and I didn't really want to pick one for a review and I thought I've got an omnibus sitting there. I might just go through that because I really want to read this. So that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, and remember to like and subscribe if you're not already. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next video.